Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jonas here today, and I'm back for another Biomes Builds episode. And today, we're doing the Dark Oak, which I think is my second favourite block out of all the woods we've got. Because we've got Spruce, we've got Oak, Spruce, Birch, Jungle, Acacia, and then Dark Oak. In the order, it probably goes Spruce, Dark Oak, Oak, then Jungle, Acacia, Birch. That'll be my order, but obviously that's my preference, but I don't know about you guys. But anyway, today is the last one of us doing a 16 by 16 like a chunk so as you can see I don't think this is the actual chunk but I can check F3G no it is the actual chunk yeah so as you can see this is the last one to do today and then obviously we're doing the next ones which is the 2 by 2 chunks which is like the same size as the UFO you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen obviously I don't want to go anymore because then I'm ruining my Pitman Minecraft build which I'm going to be coming soon I think it's coming this week actually so tune, for, tune in for that but Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start doing the structures or I get the framework at least done for this and I'll catch you once I've done that, so catch you in a second. Right guys, as you can see we've got the framework in. This is like a bit of an odd one this time. It's definitely not symmetrical compared to the other ones. But this one I'm going to have a bit of an odd shape, like I'm going to have... I'm thinking up here we'll have like a little bit of like a balcony. And then on this half over here we'll put like some like a uh, farmland up top here. That's the way I'm looking for farmland. Put a bit of farmland up here, with like surrounded by some fences, and like you can grow your crops up here. And then also what I'm thinking is if we get some dark oak, there we go, dark oak trap doors, what we'll do is we'll make it essentially like a little bridge that like leads across to it and then like water goes underneath this. And I'm thinking maybe lead this all the way down to like there. Like I think that's going to be something cool, quite cool actually, so that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go around, add all the walls to this and then, and then what I'll do is I'll start the roof a little bit on camera and then finish the rest off camera so I'll be back a bit in just a second Right, there we go, as you can see we've now got obviously all the walls in and I think it looks, you know, it, look, it looks actually okay, the back bit looks a bit flat but the front bit looks okay actually, I think I'm pretty happy how I'm pleased how it came out so far As you can see what I've done here is I've just added the cobblestone down here just so we're not really going to have like dirt all the bottom there as you can see so I'll quickly just change all this back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start doing this on camera. Which I'm going to do this here. Have that there. I'm not going to have the glass there because that's going to be a wall. But what, what I would like to actually is, would you guys actually like to see me do the, the uh, 32 by 32? Or do you want me to see something do like more 16 by 16s? But do like different builds? So do like a modern style? Do a medieval style, do a sci-fi style, do like a, I don't know, like a holiday theme, like an Easter theme, uh, I don't know, Wh whatever you really guys want to see really, let me know because I think, I think that could be pretty good in my, in my way, just, just thinking about to do more 16 by 16s instead of doing 32 by 32 because that's, 32 by 32 is quite a lot and obviously it'll take a lot more, well, it'll definitely take me longer to build because it's a lot bigger. Well, obviously I don't have to make the entire house the same uh, the same size of the build. I can always have it small and just build like excess stuff around like leaves and uh, trees and stuff. You get you get the point. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna finish this off camera the roof and then finish off the exterior like this and then basically talk you through where I'm gonna have like all the inside bits. Once I've done that, I'll do the inside and then do the obviously the overview at the end. So catch it in just a second. Right guys, I've completely finished the entire house on around the outside. I think this actually looks okay. I'm pretty happy how that turned out. Like, as you can see, the roofs are in like all in different shapes and sizes, so that's quite small. This one's quite long, that's quite tall. But, ooh, you know, I forgot to actually, I forgot to do it on camera now, just this, just to make it a bit less flat. There we go. That looks better a little bit. Here we go, and then obviously we've got the water, a little bridge going across here. We've got obviously these going around, just like, a little bit, like the usual bushes that I'm and stuff. But we've also I've got, I've got to say, roughly at the start, I've, uh, I've got to obviously make sure I've got these six in. You know the score about those six. I've done them in the previous five videos. If you haven't seen the five videos, go and watch them. I've got a playlist on them. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in here. And as you can see, obviously, you can see this here. So you actually won't see this. It'll have dark oak here. Get some dark oak like that. It'll have this so you won't see it like that. You, that's perfect, so it, it, even though it's a little bit lower, 
you just won't see the dirt, or it's a bit, bit iffy if you see the dirt. So I'm thinking over here, in this corner, I'm gonna have maybe like an enchanting area, or a kitchen, like some armor stands, a, maybe an enchanting area in the corner there, the staircase up here, this leads to obviously the upstairs, better than like a ladder. And up here, I'm actually like a separate, like two, I might do two rooms and have someone else sleep up there, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do the inside here. Once I've done that, I'll come back up here, I'll show you the complete, forget outside, I'll show you the complete outside of it again, and I'll put the inside and show you the inside of it, and I'll call that an episode. So I'll catch you in just a second. Right, guys, I've completely done the house on the inside. And I think it fits perfectly with what I've done. So as you can see, what we're seeing now is the house. Obviously, you've seen the outside. You see it all. Oh, it's all done. But I'm going to go around the thing one more time, just so you can get a nice, good look of it. And uh, when we go inside, come in here. We come in. It's a little bit, obviously, a little bit of a tight squeeze coming in. But once you get past this, it's fine. Like you've obviously got the leaves here. And what I really should have is I should have some armor on these. So. I'll get some iron arm out, why not? We'll do it on camera. There we go. And then just put a helmet there. There's two of these. Come in here. You got the first thing of the, of the six that you needed, which is then the chest. And obviously I come down here, got the anvil to your right, which is the second. A little bit of a hallway, obviously as you come down to where the anvils are. And you look right, you've got quite a big kitchen on this one actually. Quite a long kitchen. You've got a fridge, you've got a little bit of lighting, another cooker, another cooker here. But obviously the looms, which are used to be like a bit of like a, a drawer really, which I think look perfect. Obviously you've got your sink there, another clock. So you've got one, which is your furnace, two, which is your anvil, three, which is the end of the chest. You come up here, you've got another clock still at the time. Obviously you've got the farmland out here. This is where you get to grow your little crops and stuff, which I think is perfect and cute. Then as you come over here, you've got another painting, a few more paintings, and you've got the chest area. This chest here, I tried to get as many chests as I could really, but I feel like that fits perfectly, obviously loads of storage space. You've got like, obviously a crafting table, so you've got a chest and crafting table, which that's number four, number five. And the last thing obviously we your bed, which I did, I did say we put two bedrooms in, we've got one in here. Another, like, another bit of more storage to throw your items in. You've got a bit of a balcony as you come out here. Come back around, come back inside, you come up here, up the ladder. We've got the other bedroom, which is up here, which I think this is again, there's another like, cool little bedroom up here, just out the way. But anyway, that's the whole house, so I'll show you one last time. So we've got the bedroom up here, you've got the chest area, other bedroom, balcony, there you go. Oh, knock on the door on myself. <laughs> and then, as you come down here, you've got the farmland area, big hallway. You've got a little anvil area there. I'll say chest area though. Uh, you've got your nice large kitchen here, which I think fits perfect in this long hallway here. Then you've got your end of chest, and that obviously leads to the exit here, which I think you've got to go over a bridge of water to go over. But I think that's the whole house there, perfectly done and dusted. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more buying builds, make sure you let me know in the comments. Obviously, if you want to see more of the 16 by 16 or if you want to see 32 by 32, make sure you let me know in the comments. But if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next episode. See ya!